Hi, I'm Becca, and today I'm here at Camera's Great British Beer Festival in London 2018, and we are here at Kensington Olympia, and we are trying to banish some of the stereotypes that it is only old men that come along, no women, no young people, and also that you can get a pint for a price that you can afford. So tell me just a little bit about what's going on today. Well, this is uh, the Great British Beer Festival. It's one of the biggest beer festivals probably in the world, certainly in the UK. Um, we've got hundreds and hundreds of beers for choice here. We're going to have thousands and thousands of people coming in each day to explore and discover you know, the great different styles of beer, the huge range of beer that you get across the UK, but also the world. So we've got beers from Belgium, we've got beers from the US coming in later this week. It, it's a one-stop shop if you're into beer or you just want to learn more about it. A new, a new snack brand, an Indian snack brand, but based on um, Indian street food. Uh, we've come today because we're um, extending our outreach to the beer community, the drinks community. Um, we've um, done a few beer festivals around the country in Manchester, Stratford upon Avon, and now we're in London. We're really excited. We're here for the whole week, um, and we just want to reach as many people. It's a massive event this week. Um, so it's great, you know, you want something spicy with your beer, like Indian food, you have a big, uh, glass of beer, it's, it goes hand in hand, so yeah, that's why we, want, we just want to reach the beer community. We've been running the Beer Fest here for 40 years now and Camry is coming up to his 50th birthday fairly shortly. Um, we were founded to promote choice, it was at a time where you know, our founders were worried that the, the choice of beer was dropping off, that you couldn't get proper English real ales anymore. Um, and they said, you know, we need to do something about this. We're losing our choice in pubs and, and in breweries. And since they founded it, we've gone from maybe having five or six breweries in the UK to having probably just under 2,000 now. You know, and many, many thousands of beers out there. The range of beer styles has exploded. The sort of people drinking beer has changed as well. We're getting much more of the younger generation fascinating, interesting beers. You all have seen the graph beer revolution. We're trying to reflect that a bit in the festival here. Um, and it's just all about the excitement and discovery that you get from beer. I met my wife in a brewery and she has always drunk beer all her life so I, 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 I have never seen a distinction between the sexes as far as beer is concerned. But the, the public bar is the great leveller and it should be for both sexes and, and as far as I'm concerned it is uh, something that unites people passionately in, in beer. So I think it's good to make beer more accessible to um, uh, w women who have not previously tried it, and I think there are ways of introducing different styles that may dispel the concept of something that is very, you know, bitter uh, as a beer, because it, it is so broad. Well, we are wrapping up here at the Great British Beer Festival, and everyone is getting a little bit merry, but who wouldn't, because there are so many fantastic vendors here from the smaller merchants to the larger, more well-known ones as well. We've had a great time here, and for now, we're heading off. I've been Becca, reporting for you.